Hello, it's me, Kent Peterson again, and I'm just going to celebrate my 300 subscribers I have right now. And it took me about five years, almost six years, to get 300 subscribers. <laughs> I actually had this channel since 2006, but I've been doing videos since 2014. And by the way, if you want to check out my Christian channel, I'm going to put it down here, the link down here, check that one out. I can use some more subscribers with that channel. But anyway, what I'm gonna talk about is this guy that inherited 7,000 shares with Apple from his grandfather who received these, got the seats. I tried to do a video like this on Saturday, but I guess it was too long and wasn't able to upload, so I'm gonna redo it. And this is going to be like a hypothetical video. So apparently some guy, I think he's in his 20s. He inherited 7,000 shares of Apple from his grandfather. Just let get you an idea how much that is. That's... I wonder... <laughs> Sorry. I'm doing all this one hand. So that's three point. You know what I say? It's three point five million. It's not quite three point five, but I'm just gonna put it three point five million. It's actually three million four four hundred ninety three thousand. That's how much it really is, but I'm just estimating it. Three point five million. And we're gonna pretend like I I, got, I inherited this from my grandfather. What I would do, cause I think this guy wants to know what he should do with his money. So if I was him, you know what I would do? I would take 1.1 million. So I'll take 1.1 million, so let's track 1.1. And that would give me 2.1. Four, four million left. Of course, it would be actually less than that, but like I said, I estimated to 3.5. So I'll have like 2.4 million, but why did I take 1.1 million out? Here's what I'm going to do with that 1.1 million. I'm going to take a million dollars. And I'm going to put them like in about three or four different bank accounts. Of course, the reason I do that in case something happens with one bank, I lose money in one bank. I still got the other two, three banks to fall back on. So that's why I do that. So I put a million dollars in the bank. And that extra $100,000. I'm just going to keep that in cash. That's what I would do. Emergency cash, I would be. And the rest, I would invest it. So what I'm going to... I'm not going to go over everything because it won't fit in the video, but I'm going to give you an idea of how you could actually get by with not working you don't ever have to work again if you have this much money and here's what I would do so we're pretending like I sold these stocks and I got this much let's pretend I had this much in my Robinhood account I took 1.1 million out May I put 100, 100 shares back into Apple? I may, I may do it, but here's what I'm going to do. AT&T. So right now, AT&T, I think it's around $29. And I'm going to buy me 10,000 shares with AT&T. And how much does that work? 
So that's AT and T. T eight AT. I just put T on there because that's a symbol. So ten K shares. And the price for that is two hundred nine thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm trying to get some room for that price. I'll just put it down here. And the courts, I would still have enough money. So mine is. <laughs> I'll put, I'll just put three as estimate. And I'll bring it down to 2.1 million left. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm also gonna buy me 10,000 shares of O Realty Income. And I think it's about $60 right now. And that's, this is O. 10 10k shares and that's gonna cost me six hundred thousand and I'm gonna get back to how this is gonna help me but now we track six from two point one million. So now we have one point five million left. And for the sake of this video, I want to make I want to make this short. I'm just going to do one more stop. Also, I would do one more I mean I would do a lot more but I only get like 15 minutes to do videos on this phone still trying to wonder how much I get with the iPod because I know I get at least 20 minutes last like on Saturday I tried to do like 30 minutes and it didn't fit so anyway Comcast I want to use Comcast so how many shares should I get with Comcast? How much is Comcast? I'm gonna say it's about forty dollars. I don't know if it's quite that much, but I wanna say it is. So Comcast. So I'm gonna say ten K shares. So how much is that going to cost me? 40 times 2000 $80,000. And of course I'm not going to even subtract it from this. Because it's still over a million pretty much. And I'm just gonna stop right now. Just to get an idea of of how you could get away without working when you have all this money and you put in the stock. So remember, I had like ten thousand shares of AT and T, and the courts they pay you fifty two cents as of right now. As of 2020, they pay 52 cents per share every three months. So I'm going to times 52 cents by 10,000. And how much is that going to get me? 5,200. So this is pretty much how much you get quarterly. $5,200 quarterly. And the courts times that 52 by 
four, and you'll get twenty thousand eight hundred dollars a year. Could you live off that? I mean, it's possible. You might struggle a little bit. I mean, if you do have a house paid off, I mean, it could probably work out for you. But of course, this isn't the only st stock I have. Remember, I spent six hundred dollars, six hundred thousand dollars to get ten thousand shares of realty income, and that's a monthly stock. So guess what? How much did they pay? Like twenty-one cents per share, and we're gonna time that by ten thousand. So you'll be getting $2,100 every single month. So that's $2,100. So remember, this is monthly right here. And this is quarterly. So now we go to Comcast. And I got 2,000 shares of Comcast. So this is how much I'm getting in dividends quarterly. And this is how much I'm getting dividends with realty income every single month. And now I'm going to Comcast. And how much I want to get with Comcast. They pay about, I believe it's 23 cents per share times 2,000. $460 quarterly. So it's not too much, but it's not to cover that KO bill I have. It's more than enough, actually. So these two are quarterly, and this is monthly. Now, the real question how much I want to get in a single year with these three stocks and dividends? Let's find out. So as you know, I'm just going to add these two up, then I'm times them by four. So 5,200 plus 460, then I'm going to times that by four. So I got over 22 grand right now yearly, but guess what? I also have this one right here. So how much is this going to be? So 2100 times 12. So just this stock alone would be about $25,000 every single year if you just had this alone. But of course, there are these other two right here. So that's $25,200. I go back. So in dividends, guess what? You'll be making just how much you would make. So this is how much you are making, this is how much I'll be making dividends pay if I did invest this much into these stocks if I bought that many shares. And that will be like having a full-time job right there and I'm doing nothing. But of course, I still got more money left to invest. But like I said, I got to keep this video short. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Or pretend I inherited all this money from my grandfather. But of course, in real life, I ain't getting up when my grandfather passed. 
But if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to, to my channel, and leave a like button for the YouTube algorithm. Bye for now.